and, and really has, when you boil everything down, no real clear definitions and no real answers. And it's funny, to me, to me it's funny. If you were to search up just, just truth or what is truth, there are lots of philosophies just on one truth. Now, right off the bat, you're probably thinking like, it's not that complicated, <laughs> right? I mean, but here you have someone like Pilate going, well, what is truth, right? Jesus is, is just plainly saying, hey, I'm here to bear witness unto the truth. It should be commonly understood, but when people want to justify themselves, well, they, they start questioning, and well, what does that really mean? And just digging down, and you know, just kind of as an aside, because we're going to get into truth, what the Bible talks about truth, how simple it is, and not to be deceived by the world. But um, as we get into this, whenever you have someone, you know, when people really, really, really start digging down, they end up going oftentimes too deep and making things more complicated than they, than they really are. It's not to say there aren't complicated things in this world. It's not to say that, that there's just, you know, everything is always super simple. But when you have very simple concepts and people try to make them complicated, watch out for that. Red flag should be going up, like just salvation by itself. It's a very simple concept. It does not take very much understanding to understand that God has a free gift that he purchased for everyone, that he wants everyone to receive and to take. And... You know, salvation's that simple, being born again, all these things, real easy concepts. I'm not going to get into salvation, it's not a salvation sermon, but um, it is tied together with truth. We have Pilate saying here, what is truth? The Bible warns us in Colossians 2, stay here in John 18. Um, we're going to stay in the, we're going to look in the book of John quite a bit. In Colossians 2, 8, the Bible says, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. Because there are lots of philosophies. And when you go into the philosophy of what really is true, they really dig into it. And I read a bunch of this stuff. I've read this stuff before. It's nothing new. But it's, it's a little amusing how there's, you have to go back to these philosophers. It's like, look, truth isn't complicated. But we live in a world that wants to complicate truth because at the end of the day, there's a lot of people that don't want to accept that there is an absolute truth, that there is just right and wrong. And one of the, th the, the prompts for me preaching this sermon is more recently in, I don't know if it's celebrity culture, but of course celebrity culture permeates into our culture because so many people have their idols that they look up to and mimic and will say the things that they say and you know just just repeat what they hear their celebrity gods doing and saying and talking about one of the things that that I've that I've heard multiple times now is this I'm going to tell my truth and what's your truth and I want to hear your truth and it's like no it's the truth it's, it's not, it, it doesn't belong to you, it doesn't belong to any, truth is truth. Truth, truth is either true, you know, things are either true or false. It, it has nothing to do with, with a personal possession, it has nothing to do with, with anything other than just it is true. I, I know, this is, this is it's mind blowing to think it could be that simple, but, but it is. But the world wants to make you think that no, there's actually more to it, right? The philosophers really want to nail it down and make things more complicated than they need to be. Uh, the, the, the most recent thing I saw was on the... Um, Corey Feldman put out a documentary where he's naming pedophiles, right? And, and he's using this language, like, well, it's my truth. And at first I'm just thinking, you know, he's probably just saying that to, to maybe, you know shield himself from some lawsuits or something when you're making accusations. I, that was kind of my first thought where maybe you could weasel around saying like, well, this is the way that my perception is and it's not real, really, I'm not saying it's the truth, but it's my truth. It's true to me, right? And that's the kind of thinking though, this is, the, and it's not just him. And, I, and the more I started looking at that a little bit, I was thinking, you know what, this is, this is not just him. This is part of that whole 
culture of people saying that this actually is, it has its roots more in like a new age self-help. These people use that terminology all the time. I was ignorant of that until just recently that this, that how, how popular it actually has become of people just using that, my truth, my truth, your truth. Oh, you've got to share your truth. And it's garbage. <laughs>